Hello guys, Chris here and welcome back to another video in this one my friends I'm gonna be testing the GTX 1650 in Cyberpunk 2077 This one is the Gigabyte Mini ITX OC model of the card or actually it's the Gigabyte Mini I think that's the name of it. I'm not too sure too many names. I'm running the latest Nvidia drivers for 60.79 This is overclocked out of the box and I pushed it just a little bit further as you can see right here And I'm running it with a Ryzen 7 3700X and 16 gigs of RAM now you will be able to achieve this same FPS with the Ryzen 3 3100 you don't need the Ryzen 7 here and let's get into the game let's go over the settings now I'm playing at 1080p resolution not sure if I'm gonna mess around with low resolutions yet I'm not sure how this GPU works in this game but maybe I will play around a little bit with these settings right here this is like dynamic resolution right now everything is set to the low settings I'm also gonna be testing it at medium and texture quality is set to high because because it doesn't really matter too much and right here in the gameplay tab crowd density is set to high because it doesn't really matter too much as well as long as your CPU is good enough and here we are 1080p low settings let's start counting our FPS and uh, guys it's already in the 30s I I don't know I kind of expected 40s maybe 40 FPS average I guess but it seems like the 1650 is disappointing us a little bit or maybe it's just the game that's disappointing us to be honest because it's so damn demanding uh, yeah I'm gonna go to the most demanding little area in my benchmark one and as you can see by the way VRAM utilization is almost maxed out it's probably maxed out kind of but it doesn't show 4 gigs there because I've noticed that Nvidia GPUs don't really do that for some reason at times all right, there we go, never mind, 4 gigabytes of VRAM utilization now in this demanding area. RAM utilization is also pretty high compared to my 8 gigabyte cards, for example, because we are going over the limits of our VRAM and it's starting to use system RAM as VRAM to offload those textures to, but it doesn't really affect your FPS too much. We're talking about like 1 or 2 frames per second, which doesn't really make that much of a difference. And I will definitely choose to play with high textures because it makes the game look a lot better. Uh, it's not that good. 1% lows at 27. I don't think we saw it drop that far. It was still playable in that demanding area. Uh, we're playing at night because it's also just a tiny bit more demanding than daytime. By the way, we get like one or two less FPS again. Um, but yeah, it's, it's okay. It's doable. I guess we'd get like around 39 40 fps maybe at daytime but um you know I, I i still expected more i don't know why this is it's playable don't get me wrong you can play cyberpunk 2077 with the gtx 1650 which is good to know it's not like the gtx 1050 ti which can't really handle this game at 1080p without dropping into the low 20s um, but it's kind of underwhelming still. Uh, if you are after that console-like experience, lock your FPS to 30 and enjoy it. Maybe play with a controller, you know. It's gonna be a good experience, I think. And let's do medium settings this time around. This is the medium settings preset. And uh, yeah, let's go over to video. 1080p still. High crowd density. Okay. Uh, All right. Oh boy, it's getting so close to 30. It's very uncomfortable, actually. I think it will drop from 30 in that demanding area, guys, unfortunately. Even here it might... Yep, okay, there we go. 27, 26. What is happening? What is this? What the... Okay, I am inside of another car right now. Wow. Alright, guys. This game has a ton of bugs. This is just way too demanding. I didn't think... It would get below 30 fps at medium but it does even on average so holy crap okay you know what i'm gonna do now since this is not really that playable or enjoyable you know i am gonna go ahead and set this uh, resolution dynamic resolution yeah we're gonna do that between like 85 percent and 100 percent of 1080p that might push our frames to 30 plus all of the time. Gonna start counting them over here. 1% lows are already in the 20s, but it didn't really uh, drop into the 20s, as you can see. Uh, yeah, running around here in this demanding area. Um, it's fine. 
it's not the greatest thing, but it, at least it's not dropping, you know? So if you are after that console-like experience with decent graphics, because it still looks good, although the resolution scale is doing its thing, uh, it doesn't look too bad, especially in a 1080p monitor. I'm running a 1440p panel, so it does look a little bit bad and blurry, but yeah, on a 1080p monitor, it should look pretty decent uh, with that setting, and well, it's enough for us to get 30 FPS locked, or like, uh, at least not drop from 30. What the heck was happening there in the water? What is happening there? Oh, they're killing people! Holy crap! Okay, we need to go there, guys. We need to go there. I, I don't care, Regina. Watch it. What? Aren't you hearing the gunshots, guys? People are dying there. Come help me, please. Talk. Don't talk to me. Um, alright. <laughs> what is happening here, guys? I am confused. I don't know what's going on right now, but I think we need to kill all of these guys. Yep, there we go. We got this. Let's do this. All right, come on and let's go. Oh my god, it's so clunky. I don't like this. 30 FPS first person shooters. It's not for me, guys. It is, however, a console like experience. So if you're into this, and maybe grab a controller and you'll get used to it, but I just saved you. You can go. Um, just run, please. I... What is happening? What are you scared of? I've just... I just saved you. <laughs> what the hell? Moving on. Okay, so this is not a bad experience. I don't think you should play at more than medium settings, uh, to be honest, because... The game already looks decent on medium and it, it will run like crap on high, of course. But yeah, I'm happy to report that at least you can get 30 FPS average and not drop from 30 basically at these settings and it still manages to look pretty damn decent. So, okay, I'm um, gonna leave it like that for medium settings now. So low settings across the board again. Uh, I'm just gonna disable this now, yep, there we go, and 900p resolution, 1600 by 900. Okay, let's see, well, it's kind of getting close to 60 now, so 720p might be doable at 60 FPS, you know, but you will need a pretty decent CPU if you want that experience at 60 FPS. Can you please get out of the car? No? Well, I gotta do it myself, sorry, get out. Good, 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 good. Why are there police everywhere? Okay, 40s is not too bad, my friends. I think this is very similar in terms of resolution to what we were seeing uh, with 85% of 1080p. I believe 80% uh, is 900p. I'm not too sure about that, but it's, it should be close. So if you want to have the same static resolution across the board and uh, no resolution scaling or dynamic resolution going on you know uh, i guess 900p might be for you it runs perfectly fine and it still doesn't look half bad now would you buy cyberpunk to play at low settings and 900p i'm not too sure about that but considering that the game still looks amazing on low at times well it might be for you. I don't know, my friends. Okay, let me let me know in the comments down below, of course. Oh my god, okay. I'm gonna go to that demanding area now to see our FPS there at 900p, and then we're gonna do medium settings at this resolution. And we're here, uh, seeing 40s, low 40s. Not bad. Okay, I like the, the FPS. The graphics are okay, if you have a smaller monitor, 900p will look fine. Medium settings preset at 900p, uh, same settings over here. Just gonna restart the counting system, it looks way better, guys. Like, what the hell, the lights look way better, the shadows look better, everything looks better. Wow, okay, it's looking pretty damn good, actually, right now at medium. Uh, we're getting 30s, oh boy. So again, if you want that 30 FPS experience, console experience, again, it's doable. There you go. Oh, okay. Yep, they just started shooting at me, of course. Now let's drive around the city for a little bit longer and gather some averages and 1% lows again. Uh, so far, it seems to be pretty decent. It's not dropping from 30, so that is great. Okay, so we're getting pretty decent RAM and... Uh, VRAM usage right now. It's still not maxed out the VRAM, you know, so 
So you could play this game absolutely fine without a single problem. And I've seen the FPS dropping into like 32. That was the minimum so far, I think. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. My car is still there. What the heck? I'm gonna grab that car, actually. It is so interesting that it was still there from the GTX 1650 Super video, I believe. Hey, over here in this less populated area, we're still getting 40s, not bad. Yeah, this is completely playable. That's it. I think that's been it for 900p. Let's do 720 now. All right, 1280 by 720 now with the low settings. Um... I don't think I'd play at 720p, to be honest, but if you really gotta aim for those sweet 60 FPS, this is the only way you'll get them. It's not a big jump coming from 900p to 720, unfortunately, we had a list that right, by the way, but it is a noticeable one. It feels way smoother as long as it stays above 60, you know, and I'm trying to get away from this highway water or whatever this is. All right, 50s, 40s. Oh. All right, so if you really want to aim for 60 plus, you just can't. You gotta lower the resolution further than 720p, which I don't advise you to do that, even if you have a 720p monitor, because it's gonna look like crap, probably. So, please don't do that. <laughs> I'm gonna go to the demanding area again. Where are we? Why, why are my lights off? How can I turn them on? Why are these guys' lights off as well? I think maybe no they weren't but they didn't render in in time <laughs> well that's just perks of playing on low settings i think uh demanding area 50 still it's not too bad you know we've seen more demanding areas in this one i think 51 there right it's what seriously i think people are just after me at this point i don't know i did nothing wrong ram utilization is still pretty high and VRAM usage is still kind of the same as 900p medium and stuff. Oh, sorry people, sorry people! Oh boy, I think my car- yep. <laughs> it explodes so fast every single time. <laughs> medium settings at 720p, and uh, this is it. Oh, there we go, I finally found an exit. Okay, it's all good, Jack is right there waiting for us. He's been waiting, like, days at this point not days it came out yesterday the game but he's been waiting hours for us to go talk to him but i can't i just can't progress into the story because i didn't really pay attention um to the cutscenes and stuff i just skipped the entire thing through to get to a good benchmarking area for you guys i'm only gonna play this game through and i really want to play this game through whenever i finish all of the benchmarks on it so yeah you guys might be watching this to decide whether or not to buy this game and you might buy it before i'm able to play the game for fun well, I'm kind of having fun still, just running around, of course, but I'm benchmarking, I'm not doing the story. I guess that's been it, my friends. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you have a laptop and a 15-inch monitor or something like that, I think it's fine. Do keep in mind that the laptop version of the 1650 is a little bit slower, like maybe 10 to 15% slower, so you're not gonna get the same FPS, but it still should be playable and you can still have fun with it. And at that point, if you have a 15 inch monitor, I'd have zero problems playing at 720p. I'll see you in the next one. Love you all. Bye bye.